Do giant space creatures exist? In today's latest movies, we see monsters from other dimensions, so large they float around in the vacuum of space, feeding off planets and other energy sources. But this isn't the first time we've seen this. In Star Trek's Galaxy's Child's episode, the Enterprise spaceship is attacked by a large space-dwelling creature, which happens to be pregnant and is feeding off the energy of the spaceship as a form of milk. Even though this is science fiction, could giant space creatures actually exist in the vastness of space? What would the requirements be for a creature of this magnitude to exist? What would they eat? What would they look like? And would we be able to detect these creatures? These are some of the questions which we will explore today on Forbidden Knowledge. If you think about space as a cosmic ocean, then just like the ocean, it could be conceivable that there are more than just rocks floating around it. But in order for such a creature to realistically come into existence, what conditions would be necessary? 15 million years after the Big Bang, the average background temperature of the universe is much higher than it is today. In the energy-rich environment, life develops. Evolution runs rampant, and at first, these organisms are tiny, but they spread rapidly through warm space to avoid being annihilated by supernovas and other cosmic catastrophes. These organisms are doomed. The universe is cooling. Available energy is dwindling. Perhaps this evolutionary stress causes the organisms to get bigger and bigger to survive. At some point, they become incredibly massive, increasingly long-lived creatures that live within or inside what humans consider a star's habitable zone to feed. What would it eat? First, let's assume that it can feed on the background radiation of the universe, a much higher concentration of power when you're traveling outside of a solar system. Still, even if you can feed off all forms of radiation, it's not enough. If the creature floated around in space, it could be expected that it would not come into contact with matter for a very long time. But when it does, it may break down certain compounds or elements and digest them in some way to be able to reproduce its cells or its body as a whole. To continue growing, it will need to eat more asteroids, moons, planets, whatever, to gain mass. However, as your size increases, the amount of energy you can take in relative to your mass decreases exponentially. And since movement ability is proportional to mass, that means it's quickly becoming difficult to produce enough. Thus, your alien is going to find it nearly impossible to find new things to eat. After that, it's a matter of how the creature stays living until it finds matter. If it is anything like the water bear, it might go into a state of suspended animation, only to come back to life once it feels enough heat from a star. Or maybe if matter passes through it, causing friction. How big could it get? Every time your alien doubles its size, it needs to take in exponentially more resources. The first doubling requires it consumes four times the resources it took to grow to moon size. The second doubling requires he take in an additional 16 times the resource it took to reach moon size. Next doubling requires 64 times, then 256, etc. After a few thousand years, he's consuming hundreds more planets to double it's not possible to keep doubling in size. The growth will eventually slow down. Consider the size of such a massive creature and the effect its own gravity would have on itself. The creature needs to be bigger than Earth, so it's going to be very massive. While it does not need to be more massive than Earth, it does need to be hollow. Massive and hollow don't play well together in space. This sort of alien needs to be very carefully balanced and incredibly strong, otherwise it will collapse in on itself. 
what would it look like? This creature would have an outer shell that covers its whole body to deal with the vacuum of space, otherwise its head would pop up like a balloon. It would also be possible that the giant space creature doesn't resemble a whale, but more of a giant fungus or spider web which feeds off comets and space dust. It could also look like a giant jellyfish, just some nebulous body that has no real structure or intelligence, but somehow lives. How would we detect it? Astronomers and scientists wouldn't appear, at first, to have any way of knowing that this thing was alive. It would look like a huge moon or planetoid, not a living creature, and that's what they would be inclined to presume for a while. After all, alien life is so different that it's likely hard to recognize. It would be a very unusual mass, flying in a very odd way, and thus a very important intellectual curiosity in any case, but not nearly the same as a life form. First thing we would do is to calculate its trajectory to see if it's coming towards Earth, potentially colliding with it. Even if it's not coming close to Earth, it can still be a threat. That much gravity can affect the orbits of things in the solar system. Not by much, but Earth's orbit is a very delicate thing. Just a tiny shift, and we either freeze or burn to death. If that thing comes anywhere close to us, rather it strike us or not, it officially qualifies as a very bad thing possibly even an extinction-level event sort of thing. Detecting of radio waves is the best way to achieve a belief that it may be alive. If the waves are communicative, then they will certain mathematical properties, properties that will suggest something interesting about it, that could suggest sapience. The creature is not going to be moving at anywhere near light speed, so if it's three light years away when detected, it would take many years to reach us. We could have decades to study this. In fact, if we assume the creature intentionally came to Earth, then its speed will be very low due to the energy requirements. To be frank, without some form of communication, we may never define this thing as life while it's in our solar system until it's too late. What is the reality of a giant space creature? The possible justifications for a creature to actually exist are 1. This species is an artificial construct by some other sentient creature, skipping over normal evolution. 2. This species is a hermaphrodite equivalent, capable but not limited to asexual reproduction, and has in the past evolved in an environment where a huge number were close enough together to have a social culture and evolutionary pressures towards intellect to compete for mate choice. 3. The sapiens evolved from a very different and smaller creature in a world with other space-faring predators, and only after sapiens was achieved did an asexual variant get produced and spread out on its own. There are tons of possibilities to how life forms in the universe. It's crazy to think about things we might not have even anticipated. So, what do you think? Do you think there's living creatures swimming around in space? Let us know below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Some things in life are known only by a few, and those who possess this knowledge rule the world. Subscribe to Forbidden Knowledge for weekly videos to expand your mind. Thanks for watching.